I won't speak about Ratamana, Kumiza Kundu speak about him, about her. I just will say that you must be aware that this is the kind of a meeting that we are having here today, it's the party in the Western Cape. Without further ado, comrades, I'm going to call upon the provincial secretary to come and do some remarks in the opening of this program. Comrade Benson. Mansa, are we two? Are we two? Viva SACP, viva! Viva Kosatu, viva! Viva Kosatu, viva! Pansing and bungling panse! Pansing a privatization of SOVs panse! Pambili, whom Savarazaba Savens, Pambili! Forward to socialism, forward! Mantha, are we true? Uh, thanks very much, Comrade Mke. Our program director for today, standing in the place of our provincial chair, Comrade Tun, who's going to join us any time from quarter past 12. And uh, our deputy chair, uh, who's unable to be here, Due to health reasons. Comrades, let me salute all leaders present here today, even those who are on the virtual platform, be it is Facebook or Zoom. We are operating, comrades, in conditions of not of our own choosing. We didn't know that when you convene gathering of this magnitude, South is in what is called hybrid form. Others are online, others are physically present here. We had to use a different form of organizing and ensure that we avoid stampede and that only half of this hall is present. And what is important is the message. I think it's important also to use this moment to acknowledge leaders present here. And amongst us, we have our federation, provincial secretaries from our federation in the province, led by Kosadu's provincial secretary, Comrade Dupre. And I think it's important to formally congratulate the newly elected provincial secretaries of, of, from Kosato affiliates. And that include the provincial secretary of Nehao, Kombet Mali Bakolis, the, provincial, the acting provincial secretary of Pobru, Comrade Petra Ulan. Paradigmate comrades, we also have the leader from Sanko, the PSC member, and the PDRPC member, Comrade Tozama Pevu. The IPC member from the ANC, Comrade Nomin Kondo. The leadership from Sergius. The president of SASFU, Comrade Kolelwa Vokwana, is here, and the DGS, Comrade Mluleki Jan. And all comrades from an invited guests and from our PC and some branches who are here. And also, our first deputy general secretary, Comrade Solima Paila. Our first deputy provincial secretary, Comrade Sobs, and the entire PC present here today. And our comrades from the media. But Kabane, we stand here to, I stand here to outline on behalf of the PC the, the papers of today's program. I think, Comrade, in outlining the papers, it is worth highlighting or recognizing that this event coincides with the 66th anniversary since the adoption of the Freedom Charter in Cape Town. Further, if our late General Secretary Comrade Chris was still alive, tomorrow he was going to celebrate his 79th birthday. 
This program, Comrades, is part of a series of the SACP's Beat Up programs to our centenary celebration. The provincial wide picketing outside police stations and the headquarters of the police was also an important pillar in the Beat Up program towards our centenary. We are located, Comrades, every district, a hero, a hero, to celebrate as we mark 100 years of unbroken communist activism in the struggle for national liberation and the struggle for socialism. It is in this context that, comrades, I'm a district where to Sawanika in Kokeli of Neba celebrate Our central Karu district is to celebrate Moses Kotane. Our Chekovara district is to celebrate Eric Wala. Our Overbeck district is to celebrate Mzala Mumalo. Our Elizabeth Nana Abrams district is to celebrate the life and times of Elizabeth Nana Abrams. Our Lizongongi district is to celebrate Ray and Jack, and Jack Simons. And that event will be led by the ANC's National Chair, Comrade Gwede Mandashe, on the 3rd of July. The prime funding here today is celebrating Dora Tamana. We honor these heroes, comrades, and heroines of our revolution to draw inspiration and recommit ourselves to reposition the SACP for the next hundred years as a party of influence and party of power capable for the seizure of state and popular power for our people. The people of this province, the people of this country deserve better in the revolution for just mere inclusion of its leadership in a gravy trade. Therefore, it shall effectively participate in the state to change the state to serve our people and our revolution. For the next hundred years, comrades, we ought to intensify the struggle of our people to have access to safe drinking water, affordable electricity, health, shelter for the homeless, access to the land, access to job for the jobless, to mention but a few. Further, come together with the Federation Corsato and other federations, we ought now and beyond our centenary, intensify the strike against neo the neoliberal offensive and austerity directed at the workers through layoffs, retrenchments, loss of wages, attack on collective bargaining, the collapse of the race system, the extortion, the pandemic of extortion and criminality facing our people here in the province. Root out corrupt elements within the criminal justice cluster and ensure that the criminal justice cluster save our people and save the poor. We shall not leave, comrades, the selling of, po of, of pockets of land in this province by the DLA administration to private property developers and churches whilst people, are, whilst people in this province remain landless. This is an important campaign the party has been fighting and has to continue to fight that our land cannot be auctioned to private property developers, but land must be made available to our people. We shall challenge this DA-led government to build houses for our people, install street lights, clean our township, fix the countless potholes, and address issues of water and sanitation in our province. It has become difficult, comrades, to walk in working class townships because of potholes, because of piling sewages, amongst other things. Lastly, comrades, we also want to warn as we are building, as we are preparing for our local government elections, that this 2021 local government elections ought and shall be an, an alliance driven and ANC headed local government elections, and that there shall be centrality of the role of the alliance. And those who want to, to warn against those. We want to hijack the ANC's BGMs for their own narrow interest. We want them not to use either sound or the SACP for their narrow personal interest or personal interest. No branch of the SACP or SANCO must be narrowly and merely used to serve the interests of certain elements during this process. Our organizations are not for sale. And thus we appreciate the centrality of the alliance in these processes of local government elections. 
and we hope and we shall fight to ensure that the outcomes of the lease process is reflective of our movement and is reflective of the alliance. On those words, comrades, you are all officially welcome in this important event, an event we are preparing for the opening of the national event to be held here in Cape Town on the 4th of July 2021, to be addressed by national leaders of the party and national leaders of the alliance. Comrade Sodima Paila is here to address us. The leadership of the alliance in the province would be today give them the opportunity to share their perspective on this celebration of the ACCP Sendina. This is a historic moment. The Chinese Communist Party too celebrates its own Sendina. This is an important milestone for these two organizations, communist organizations moving forward. Amanda. Away too. Thanks very much. Manza, Viva the Southern Communist Party, Viva. Viva. Thank you very much, Comrade Secretary, Comrade Benson. Uh, Comrades, we've been outlined, we've been explained to us that this is a celebration of the 100 years of our existence as a party, uh, with all those building up of mobilizing our own people across the province, starting from yesterday and the other days to come. Of course, we welcome you everybody, especially from the other and other organizations that are present here, to join us once again in what to be used to be a UCT where we'll be celebrate where we'll be launching our celebration for this year. That will be on the fourth next week on Sunday comrades. Without further ado, comrades, we are going to call upon the alliance structures uh, to make their own input, starting with Comrade Joseph Mapevu from Sanko. Viva Sanko, viva! Calend Bulele Ukumen, you are quite true. Sungumu talk sad. Ule commemoration. In fact, Clay Sentinel, ye SACP in commemorating Umama Utora Taman. Siabule like a cool. Dibuli say. Abandu, Abakul, Inko Kelize, two Eskoyo Pakatuque, two Esuka Gu National, Nezuka Apa, Kule Province, two In commemorating Comrade Umamutor Taman, we thought we should uh, explain what type of a leader, what type of isitwalandwe, a single mama, Tamana coming from the Western Cape, where all of us, perhaps, we are born here in Cape Town. As we all know that Mamutora Tamana come from Ungamakwe, from the Eastern Cape, she moved to Cape Town, as a wife of a migrant worker, as were the apartheid laws at that time through Group Areas Act, they were moved from pillar to post, and they settled in retreat, and later moved to Gugletu. I count myself one of the few fortunate living people today who met and interacted with this giant as a young person in the early 90s, 1980s. 
I remember her in the dark glasses and white stick as she was blind at the time already. Mamu Dora Tamane was an organizer, a communist, a feminist, a community worker, a mobilizer of all oppressed women, coloreds and Africans on issue affecting them. Kanga yena afane nam okanye nati ibingumtu ojonge ukuchinja ubomi babantu kwindo yonge ebeyenza. In retreat, she helped develop crutches for children of working mothers. She used to, she used these for stay at home mothers. She used these forms, she used forums to educate women about oppression, about past laws and mobilize them to join progressive movements like trade unions, ANC, Women's League, and ANC before it was banned. After these were banned, she continued to mobilize using NGOs like CAFTA and crashes to keep the light of the struggle burning. At some stage, she was arrested, detained, and later banned. What we like most about Esisutwalande is that she was concerned, as I said, of changing Ubombabantu wherever she was. She was at retreat doing the same work, working for the people, not like us today, because we've moved from that as the leaders that are present now. We think that as Sanko, that this comrade, Umama Daratamane, was a real leader, not for herself, but for the people. All this did dampen, didn't dampen her spirit, instead encouraged her to continue mobilizing women to be more independent and financially viable through the projects in her community and even spending, spreading to other communities around the Cape Town. When they were forcefully removed to Kukuletu, which then was known as Nyanga West, she continued to work. She was very articulate and would regularly speak her mind through grassroots newspaper at the time. As I, Tozama, will always remember her, he quotes, open quote, you who have no work, speak. You who have no home, speak. You who have no school, speak. You who have to run like a chicken from vultures, speak. I close quote. That's what Mama Dora Tamana used to say when she was mobilizing women, when she was busy working with grassroots women. These are many, the, these and many other quotes from Mama Dora Tamana kept us strong and entrenched in the struggle against apartheid. You know, Umama, organizer. she was a real organizer. And the question is, as we are members of all the structures of the Alliance, are we doing that? Are we able to do what Umama Dorama Tomano was doing? Are we able to call people, educate them, 
capacitate them about where we are coming from and where we are going? I don't know, comrades. You, you might answer that question, I don't know, if we are still doing that. Mama Darachamana was a, a member of FEDSO with Abandaba Badala, Ababa Lekle in South Africa, Lili and Woi, Oma Muchi Biliza, Nabanye, Biliza and Abo. When Uma Mumeldred, Mashma Lesia, and other women in the Western Cape took a decision to launch IUO, which was United Women's Organization, after Elal, when the ANC and its alliance was, were banned, Mamudo Ratamane was there to give leadership and direction to this initiative. She made sure that its constitution is in line with policies and principles of the ANC. This was launched, I think, at about 1979 or 80 at that time, and was used as a vehicle while the Congress movement was banned. We as young people at that time, we would visit her to drink in this well of experience. Even at her age, she was powerful and gave leadership. In Kuguletu, Mama continued to be a champion of community development through churches, sewing groups, while fighting for freedom of her people by defying apartheid laws and strengthening women's organization. She, gave, she became a guidance in the campaign of Asi Ekailicha. Umamutaraptamana was there, comrades. She died before seeing the fruits of the campaign. But her comrades, Otakumalindi, fought until the end. As Sango, si, si, si Azama, Ukubangaba, Sibone into Kubangaba, Zis is into a descent from Lomama, Sibesifundi like a Kulu Uzo, Wokutinati Sikubeke, Ukwenza, Ezondo. Kodwa Ogba Legleo, Ukubangaba, Lomuta Mama, Sifundi Legue Kakulu, Ute Kube Funam Sanji. I would like to close my talk by quoting Umama when she said, open quote, I have opened the road for you, close quote. Now we need to, because we fully in Dela for Tina, now to take in Dela, Pambi, Yokunwela, Abantu, Basenzans, Africa. Njengoko, Yena, Ebeluile, a silo and get pressure, a cubic a cool. We will lay in there. The question is, Tony can move a science lay in Gaba as is into Zaziluelo, Guma Motor Ataman, in Gaba Zenzekile na, Gokupeleleo, Okanye, in Gaba Zizindo, Esitetangazo, in Gaba Siakwas now to make sure in Tobangaba, EECD. Abantu wana bakatale loglom zanz Afrika. Ingaba itishara ze ECD. Ingaba iya formalize wale education ya bongo baga lo waye consent ngayo. Hence waye busy esebenza naba mama esaka as forums. Ingaba i economy yelizwe. Ingaba seifiki lene zandeni zetu. Ingaba sisaso ola njenga ukala. Okanye ingaba zikona i projects ezenzi wayo ukulumende we tuke ngoku opetwe siti ezenza indokubangaba abandu bakwazu beka itafile 
EPWP. I'm talking about e projects to empower abantu bazenzele bazenzele imali ingaba zikhona ezonto okanye azikenzeki uba azikenzeki utheni why why is it zinto zingekenzeki is it because of corruption today we are talking about corruption in south africa like any other country yes i'm happy that we are exposing it but why are we doing that, comrades? Why are we doing that when Abantu Bakuti, Belamba, Besopola, you work less as it is a freedom charter, you banga, but you have a season in Why, Ibangaba, every day you sleep and when you wake up, this minister, so and so, Uche Malendreti, this minister, Yendretile, when they lena le. Why? Why? Oh, mama, basweleka. Les sokolela kaflung ebunzimeni. Pansi koko kohulumente wongenezel. Wacho wati dia inikezela indlela kuni. Wais inikezela indlela yondo banga ba masizenzele uno tanda gelilizo. Comrades. I think we must really go back to the drawing board and check as comrades, as leaders of this huge movement, if are we still on the track. Amanda! Gawe! Tu! Amanda! Thank you very much, Sanko, for making that cool presentation about Dr. Ataman. We should have learned, comrades, that the Triple H campaign and water didn't start here in the last, in the last uh, right October. Mamu Dr. Ataman already encouraged our own people to do the cooperatives, to do sewing and all the other things to alleviate hunger. That was the opponent. And thank you very much, Sanko, for that. Comrades uh, are going to move fast, and we are going to call upon the leader of the workers in the province, the provincial secretary, comrade uh, Mervyn De Bray. Viva Kusatu, viva! Viva! Mandla, viva ANC, viva, viva, viva Kosatu, viva, viva SCP, viva, viva Senko, viva, viva Sasko, viva, viva the Youth League, viva, viva YCL, viva. Thank you, Commerce. Good morning. Now, firstly, I would like to greet the following leadership present here today. Uh, DJS Comrade Soli from the party, Comrade Benson, Comrade Sops, Comrade Nomi from the ANC, Comrade Khalid, the entire PC of the party, as well as everybody present here today. Program Director. Today we are gathered here to celebrate the centennial anniversary of the founding of the South African Communist Party. On behalf of the leadership and members of Basati, we here would like to congratulate the Communist Party for this 100 year milestone. The vanguard of the working class has indeed a good story to tell. The SCCP is one of the oldest surviving parties in this country and even in the world with a beautiful history. The party known as the Communist Party of South Africa, the SCCP was known as the Communist Party of South Africa until it was banned by the party regime in 1950 and have played a major role in South Africa, South Africa's liberation struggle. The SCCP has been part of the ANC 
led government since 1994. We should also use this milestone to reflect and to take stock of the achievements over the last 100 years. We should also take stock of the shortcomings and how we can improve on it. As we celebrate the centenary, it's also important that we honor the real heroes and heroines of our struggle. As COSATU, we are saying that we should strengthen our relationship work by working more closely together in campaigns. COSATU and SP should, should work more on bread, on bread and butter issues. We must have more political schools to ensure that we teach the youth about the history of this country. We should have those uh, political schools to ensure that we go back to the factory floor to educate our members. The party should be more attractive to young workers. A young worker in a factory in the clothing industry, a young worker on the shopping floor at a retail store. We should bring those people back into the, into the, into the party. I would also like to raise the following that we came from a very successful Alliance Summit was held over the weekend of the 15th and 16th of May, 2021. We must just now ensure as the Alliance partners that we implement the decisions of that Alliance Summit. Because we can't have a summit and nothing comes from that. If there were decisions taken, those decisions must be implemented. I'll also raise the following question with regards to our last ACC. In that CEC, Kosato noted and debated the developments within the ANC regarding the step aside rule. And I think the step aside rule is something that has been in the media for some time. Kosato respects, and, and respects the ANC internal processes and reaffirms its support for the decisions, decisions taken and adopted by the ANC NEC. Kosato has been consistent in its call for a more assertive ANC NEC in dealing with political ill-discipline and corruption in the organization and in government. This is what the majority of workers and members want. We reiterate our support for the democratic institutions and denounce any attempt to undermine and attack them in any way. Despite its obvious challenges, ANG remains a powerful force that workers in this country have invested a lot in building. Therefore, we will continue to defend it from those who are prepared to divide and weaken it to try and save themselves. We unwavering support all efforts to push back against those who are hell bent on using the organization as an instrument of individual accumulation, whether via the state or through business connections. The principal task of the working class remains to recapture the ANC as a progressive and radical liberation movement. We have bottomless contempt for corruption and factionalism and we remain principled and a principal ally to the ANC, to SANCO and to the SACP. Kosar to further emphasize that the ANC must identify the right candidates for the upcoming local government elections. We need leadership or we need people that got the capacity to occupy key positions in F and then that enjoy the confidence of the workers in society. This goes together with the ANC taking its work and mandate seriously and addressing the need of communities and not taking for granted the frustrations and demands of the people. We should, as a collective, fight against corruption, factionalism, ill-discipline, because the unity of the alliance is sacrosanct. On the questions of campaigns within COSATU, and this is the campaigns that COSATU would like, must fight with the alliance partners. It's the question of the transport campaign under Section 77. We've got the campaign about violent crimes. We've also got now campaign against gaps because we have seen what is happening in buses that commuters have been robbed on a daily basis or by criminals and nothing is done to protect those vulnerable workers and commuters. And we think as alliance parties, we should take up this fight to GAPS, tell them that, and to the city as well, and to, to the police uh, department, to say they must look and protect those vulnerable commuters. On the question of the high water tariffs, this is a campaign that we must revive, comrades. We have seen what's happening in our communities 
We ordinary unemployed citizens got lots of bills of more than 100,000 rand. And we, are, we said nothing as the alliance partners. We should revive that campaign. And so these are some of the campaigns that we should take home as alliance partners. The questions of the violent crimes, Kosato supported 100%, especially what happened yesterday with the campaign of the party. Kosato is 100%, 100% behind the party in their campaign to put pressure on this provincial police department for not dealing with criminals and not dealing with crime in this province. We are also saying, Kosato, that we are still unhappy and we will remain unhappy about the resolution 1 of 2018 that has to be implemented in, uh, fully. We are saying to government, we will not keep quiet, we will not sit there, arms folded, and allow public sector workers to suffer because of the incompetence to deal with the issue of wages. You can't sign the agreement in 2018 and then decide in 2020, 2021, that you will not honor that agreement. So we can't allow that this government is undermining collective bargaining and we keep quiet. So there's a warning to this government, we will come for you. There's a process ongoing but will not keep quiet and allow you to undermine collective bargaining. That still applies to the public sector salary disputes. So, Commissioner, and lastly, uh, from Kasatu's side, we once again pledge again our continued support and commitment to the strengthening of the alliance. We pledge our support to work closely with the Communist Party to ensure that the campaigns that we've aligned today that work jointly to ensure that we take go back into our streets to ensure that we look after the interests of our workers. Thank you very much. Amandla. Long live the Tabai Trade Alliance plus one. Long live. Usangwa ke sustoza mga ifuni nga plus one. You always question why Tabai Trade Alliance plus one. <laughs> And I can tell you when we grew up, when there was civic and all the other civic structures, where the Tapetite Alliance, then later on we added some, and they long live Tapetite Alliance plus one, long live. You're still part of the alliance. Thank you very much, Nopala. Thank you, Kosatu, for this good presentation. Maybe just to say that uh, in his popular uh, quotation, Oliver Tambo, of 1985, making South Africa ungovernable. He mentioned it down, deep down the quotation something very important about the workers. He said the economy of this country lies on their own. The economy of this country lies in the, in the shoulders of the workers. So therefore, it's very important, therefore, Kumbi Nupala, that you understand that and put it ideologically and understand that workers are not just people for the bread and butter issues, for strikes and all those things, but fundamentally the struggle for socialism needs those workers and make sure that you push them from that front as the SAC will keep on giving you the ideology. Thank you very much for that. And I'm sure the ANC, I see here, Kumit Khalid and Kumit Nomi are noting this thing of the salary negotiations that are tracked by our own government, especially when it comes to Resolution 1 of 2018. We want that money. Not later, but now, even before this one. <laughs> Thank you, Kumit. As we go forward, let's call the IPC member to come with no me, Kondo, uh, to address us on top of the ANC. You know, no me, why are you going to ask me to ask me to ask to ask me 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 to me Program Director. Amanda, Gawe too. Amanda, Gawe too. Long live the African National Congress. Long live. Long live the South African Communist Party. Long live. Long live Sanko. Long live. Long live the, um, the Kosatu. Long live. Maibu ye. Africa. Thank you, um, uh, comrades. Um, I'm not sure, program director, um, about issues of age. I always try to run away from those politics. Uh, you, you may get into trouble once you delve uh, into those politics of age. 
Um, let me firstly uh, greet uh, the first uh, uh, deputy SG of the party, Comrade Zolima Paila. Uh, let me greet uh, the provincial secretary, Comrade Benson, and also the leadership of the party in the province. Uh, let me also uh, greet uh, uh, the leadership of Sanko, Comrade, Comrade Tozi. Uh, uh, let me also greet the leadership of Kosatu, Comrade Marvin, and also who sits with us in the, in the IPC. Uh, also, Comrade uh, Khalid, um, I think he was here from uh, the chair of the Inns Youth League. And also, let me greet uh, comrades uh, of the party from the district, from the branches uh, that are here. Sianimuli Samakubane this morning. Uh, an important uh, uh, event, uh, comrades, uh, that we appreciate uh, our call to come and join uh, this session. Um, which is the centenary of the Communist Party, and also that happens uh, also at the same time as we celebrate and we remember um, the, the meeting uh, of uh, people in Cape Town on this day when they then adopted uh, the Freedom Charter. A very interesting uh, uh, conversation in particular that uh, celebrates uh, Umama Udora Taman. Yes, I may not have known her, but uh, one thing I'm fortunate, I'm a product of Izandla, the United Women's Organization, IOWO. And I wish to appreciate, I think, the work and follow on the, the um, input made uh, by yourself, sisters, uh, about how you articulated Umama Udora Taman. And as a young person who grew up in Kukuletu in the streets of Section 4, uh, I would have been touched by the work of Umama Udora Tamana through Umama Ulodza, um, who worked with her. And indeed, Missing Abandwana, Ebebe Kakwele Rangabu Mama at the time, uh, we in through Indo Efana and aftercare, Kasbuye School, we knew Indo Batina Sizawamba, Siye, Kwama Ulodza which was like a halfway house where we sit because Abazali Betu have left in the wee hours of the morning as domestic workers um, to go and fend for ourselves. Um, so that you know, poems and other things, it can put dance, but at the same time, Kufabu VHS, Simamela, Kuyatulua, Ingoma, Zama Comrade. And that uh, particular, uh, those efforts planted the seed in us, young as we were, Gabandwana was a primary at the time, but it planted the seed, no doubt to Reverend uh, Mahau, who would, guest Sundays, would take us uh, to church, and in their churches, they would open the scripture and talk about what was happening, you know, in terms of gospel, but then link that to the realities of the situation that we're facing in our homes. You know, as a, as a, a young and a girl child in my home, you know, I find solace in understanding the material realities that I was facing in my own home. Growing up in a highly Christian, Christian family, where my, my father died very early, when my mom kept on taking us to church, and every time when one looks at her struggles at home, you know, uh, you got to understand when you go to those meetings, is a United Women's Organization, what exactly, you know, is behind the kind of situation you find at home. So I want to appreciate, I think, the selfless work, in particular, the grassroots work, your mama, the uwo. Because one of the things that kept, in particular, a community like Kukuletu and many others, Zobonyanga, is exactly these women who actually kept homes, you know, at the time, um, kept families together by helping them to understand what was behind the kind of suffering that they were experiencing. That was the role of the communist in Mamuto Ratamana, who understood that at face value, you know, as communities, as individuals, we may not understand, we may interpret if we fall into politics of optics 
of what is happening and fight amongst ourselves, not understanding why today, you know, I'm in this particular circumstance or that particular condition. You needed to have Abanda Bafana no Mamuto Rataman, who first and foremost organizes you according to the current challenges that you are facing, not bring you into meetings where they speak high level politics, but through your own challenges, they were able to bring us in Singa Bandwana and not understanding Tina Playful. But when we started growing up, and I remember when I was in primary school and there was the struggles uh, at the time, Yelal, as you were saying, sisters, you know, when they were struggling to revive organizations through uh, the United Democratic Front, we then started to then recollect exactly those initiatives, Zoma Mu Uloza. Indeed, this was the thing that we used to watch with our movies, where the apartheid would then be beating up Abandaba Myama. When we started questioning in our schools why we do not have textbooks, why we do not have um, laboratories in our schools, then that particular knowledge was then the one that we could use to start to understand and therefore to mobilize ourselves to want to fight the system than complain. So these are the important uh, 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 roles that we learned, Kwaba Mama, that today as people who are at the forefront of community struggles, that our hearts and our minds remain centered in understanding that as a comrade, as a revolutionary, first and foremost, Umselen's work is to mobilize people there where they live, is to help them to understand and interpret their own conditions and their own situation so that they can be clarified of what exactly are the challenges that they are facing. And I think we, one comes here uh, humbled uh, to speak, uh, you know, at, at this uh, platform, uh, and I must say, um, with, the, with the quote that I think Usis Tozi has already mentioned, one picks up the call to action that these were women who were not only about theorizing the world, as Karl Marx have said, theirs was to change it. That is why at most, at any opportunity that they found to speak to people, to women, uh, to groupings in their communities, the main message in, in their inputs was a call to action. As Usis Tozi has said here already, that Umamutoram Taman, one of the things that he was very clear uh, about is to call people to act on the conditions that they were finding themselves. One of the things that he, she said is that we must free ourselves. Men and women must share the problems so that we can solve them together. This is what is required, comrades, also at this stage. And I'm bringing here today in this message that as the ANC in the Western Cape, we stand when we look at the conditions of our people here in the Western Cape. And the ANC, I think, was sitting in this hall the other day in an alliance summit uh, discussing a political strategy of the ANC that seeks to assist us out of the quagmire that we're finding ourselves. And I think we appreciate the inputs that were received from the alliance structures, from Sanko to the COSATU and the SACP in enriching that strategy that ask these fundamental questions at this point amongst ourselves in, in the situation in the Western Cape. What is it that we stand against? What do we stand on? What do we stand for? And what must be done? These are the critical questions that actually are pillars of the strategy that we've, that we've uh, uh, developed. And we ask these questions considering both the subjective and the objective realities that faces us as the ANC in the Western Cape, but also in the country. We understand the subjective weaknesses that comrades have alluded to that have led to a very weak organization in the African National Congress, but a weak movement in all of us in driving the National Democratic Revolution. And the question that we all comrades must answer, and we use a moment of, uh, of this nature, is indeed what becomes the cost of a weak movement in the pursuit of a revolutionary cause. And this is a question, comrades, that we must ask ourselves because there is a price to pay if we continue uh, to embrace 
if we continue to mull around our weaknesses, which is why I think as we move from the last national conference, one of the uh, discussion documents that was added by the then um, uh, Secretary General, who is now the national chairperson, is to look at the inward looking of the African National Congress. That if we continue to do that, uh, comrades, if we continue to look at our own source, you know, we've got a revolution, we've got a country, we've got a people that pin our, their hopes and their aspiration on the African National Congress. And I think that price in the Western Cape, for many years, we felt the pinch. If you look at the DA, as we speak here today, and we all are in this room, we know the conditions of people in the informal settlements of Danun. We know the conditions of people in Blukombos who are staying in highly populated uh, areas where there is no uh, housing. We know those particular realities. We know the health conditions that are exacerbating COVID-19 and the, its spread in this particular province, in particular as it relates to children and women. And these are the realities of a weak movement that has a responsibility towards what we term the working class and the poor. And these are, are questions, comrades, that when we deal with them, we should not be dealing with them only in a subjective manner, where the only thing that we do, we point fingers at each other. We've got a responsibility as revolutionaries, for, because for ours is to answer the question, what needs to be done? At a certain point, we know this particular revolution has produced the caliber of Mamu Dorataman. And therefore, who are the Doratamanas of this time? Because, comrades, as we sit here and we talk and we celebrate this life of this giant woman, we would be doing a disservice if we cannot pinpoint amongst ourselves, amongst our own time, that the, here is Ikhumelo from Umamu Doratraman, Namani Amakawekazi, because it is upon the advanced cadres of any society that we are able to drive this revolution. We cannot only be safe or be satisfied with simple mindedness, comrades. Because in our ranks, what we've done today is to allow and we have fraternized with simple-mindedness, with simplicity, comrades, where complex issues we want to provide as simple answers. And these are some of the things that we as the ANC in this, in this province, we've agreed and taken into cognizance some of the challenges that we face internally as an organization, and we call upon all of us to try and resolve uh, some of those uh, particular challenges. In saying so, then, comrades, I think the important thing we take in the history of the hundred years of the existence of the what has brought us to this ANC alliance CP as a vanguard um, a, a, a party that these are in appreciation of the distinct and complementary task of these particular um, a, a parties, but also a party that has assisted the ANC to understand the class content in the National Democratic Revolution. And these are some of the things that we sit and be proud today that for the journey uh, of the South African struggle, the ANC and those that are members of the ANC are able to appreciate the multi-class um, uh, uh, phenomenon or feature of the African uh, 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 National Congress. And therefore, comrades, these are some of the things that we appreciate. But also in line with Umamu and, and in saying so, comrades, we must then ask some of the things that have been said uh, by that we do this particular lecture, but the lecture is not enough. The life of Mamu Dora 